the all black off road rim set from Luna Cycle for the Talaria Triple X. Comes with an extra chain and then the extra spacers for the front here. I'll show you the size lined up compared to this. Back wheel is the same, the front wheel is two inches bigger. Chain is the same chain that was on the bike before, so they give you an extra one. And then the wheel is skinnier actually than the, hard to see, but it is skinnier than the road tire, which is kind of weird. They had an extra half inch. But I think it technically is taller with the with the nubs. They give you a, obviously the rotor with each one, so that's pretty nice. And brake pads are so cheap, so it's nice to have the rotor. Brand new sprocket. Same tooth, obviously. Is the one that was on it. The front is quite a bit bigger, which is going to make this thing look a lot better. A lot more mean, especially once you add the fender on. One nice thing or another is the black spokes, black nipples, and the adjustments compared to the chrome. Some of the later model triple X's did start shipping with all black spokes here, but I was the initial order. And let's get them installed and check it out. First step, let's get this all pretty much already on. Look at that off. Okay, once you get this, the big old bolt out of there, um, and the nut off of the other side, be wary, the brake is gonna be floating. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of that. It should be, it makes sense. It's gonna sit on this, or you know, sit right here hard. That way it's always in with the tire whenever you, they're all bolted through the same path, I guess, if that even makes sense. Um, once you have the bolt through, everything lines up, I guess, if it's a simpler way. I just, I don't know why I assumed that the brake here was going to be attached to something in here, and it is not. So you lift up on the tire once you pull this bolt out, and you lift a little bit on the tire, not a lot, um, just take the tension off, and that'll slide right out easily, um, nothing to it. And the chain, nothing to that, this is definitely going to pop right off. So that's off, let's get this tire off, put the sweet one on, um, I've never done this before, so... Bear with me, I got the GoPro time lapse over there and my dogs can't handle watch me either. Let's get to it. Chains off, tires are off. All right, I guess chains not off, but I'm gonna keep that same chain on. Let's compare these two. You can definitely see it's a little skinnier. That tread pattern, nothing crazy, um, but definitely gonna get the job done. I like it. The rim um, on the front is definitely skinnier. I'll double check on this back rim, but it was kind of weird to see the rims actually different. A um, little skinnier, not size wise for back here anyway. Let's get to it. All right, so after looking and these are the same as the front, I was thinking no way can those be back here. Um, I went back and looked on this. That piece comes out. So let's give, take that back off, put that on it, and give it another go. Dang it. Upon further confirmation, it was that. And that is on perfect. You're good. On baby duty, and dog duty, and dog. Snack. And snack. But yep, so that's right. I uh, just had to make sure your little spacer alignment jiggies are correct right there. I mean, as far as correct, just smushed forward. I'm going with what they were at the factory, but everything seems to be 
Looking proper. The black on black is sick. I think she thinks so too. All right, I'm gonna still use these spacers as they are different size. I feel slightly different, um, unless that doesn't, I don't know, slightly different size I feel. So I'm gonna use these with the new wheel here. I'll pull this up. And then all the front wheel requires is a simple, not that Allen key. It's probably under me. Yep, right here is a simple Allen key and you'd take each one of those four screws out let's get it done so with the new spacers on each side and they sit as you'll see i have to pull that out they kind of have a rubber ring around and they kind of push in and then once they sit in they're in and then you slide the wheel in shove the big old bolt back in and then the allen key once again tighten her up and as you're tightening these down get them tightened down quick with that one side flip it around tighten them the final time after this we will get our two allen keys and go over i guess let's go this side these two keys here bam and bam we are gonna take those and center the pad out on the rotor and make sure that's perfect. It looks sweet. That front end makes it so much better. Back end looks better just with the grip. Definitely gonna be flinging a lot more mud up in there. Definitely it would be a 10 minute change after a couple times. <laughs> 